the NASCAR Xfinity Series playoffs start this Saturday at Kansas Speedway. And, well, I guess I'll make my predictions. Do not get your hopes up. My predictions are usually horribly wrong. So, anyways, we'll start doing them. I would love to hear your predictions. Let me know your predictions in the comments. Who's going to be the champion? Who will make the final four? Who will be eliminated early? Will there be any big shocks? So, for those of you who don't know how this playoff format works, there are 12 drivers in this field. Those 12 drivers are Justin Allgaier, Cole Custer, Austin Hill, Chandler Smith, Shane Van Gisbergen, Jesse Love, Sam Mayer, Riley Herbst, Sheldon Creed, AJ Allmendinger, Sammy Smith, and Parker Kligerman. Those are your 12 guys in the Xfinity Series playoffs. Four drivers will be eliminated after the Charlotte Roval. That field, after it's reduced to eight, they will go to Las Vegas, Homestead, Miami Speedway, and Martinsville. And then once again, we slash four out, and that will be our final four. Our championship four, highest finisher at Phoenix out of those four, makes the championship, or wins the championship. Doesn't just make the championship. But let's do it. Let's make these predictions. Kansas, Talladega, the Roval, the opening round, the wild card round. We have a super speedway and we have a road course in here where anything can happen. Well, let's start off with the normal race. Kansas, mile and a half, typical track, and I think we see a typical winner. I think Justin Allgaier wins at this track. He's the number one seed in the playoffs, finished second in the regular season standings. Leads the league in stage wins, has a couple of wins of his own, and they've shown speed at the mile and a half. He was running up front at Charlotte when he wrecked. He won Darlington earlier this year. He almost won at Texas if it wasn't for a late caution. That kind of shuffled him back in the field. They've had speed at the mile and a half. The intermediates, I think Justin Allgaier gets it done at Kansas. Then we go to Talladega. Oh boy. Talladega is unpredictable. Just, you could... Pick a hat out of the bag and pick a pick a pick a name. Just pick anyone. You got a good shot at winning. Well, I say that, but I'm about to pick the guy who will be the heavy favorite at Talladega. This guy is dominant on the super speedways. He has three plus wins at Atlanta, three plus wins at Talladega or at Daytona. But at Talladega, for some reason, he just can't get things to go his way. That changes this year. Austin Hill wins at Talladega. As I said, he will dominate this race. He will dominate Daytona and win, dominate Atlanta and win. But at Talladega, something always happens. He'll be leading the pack and somehow gets wrecked. A caution comes out when he's got it in the bag. But this time, I think he gets it done. I think Austin Hill finally gets a Talladega win, finally gets through at that track, advancing him to the round of eight. Then we go to the Charlotte Roval. Charlotte Roval, same situation as Talladega. Well, not exactly, but there's going to be a heavy favorite, and I think the heavy favorite wins. I think Shane Van Gisbergen in his first playoff appearance advances to the round of eight with a win at the Charlotte Roval. I will say, though, if Shane Van Gisbergen does not win at the Roval, he is very vulnerable to elimination. He's never been to Kansas before. Talladega, as I said, it's a crapshoot. Anyone could win, but at the same time, anyone could wreck. He could be entering this race in a must-win scenario. But at the end of the day, they've been by far the fastest on these road courses. Three wins out of the five road course races, four top fives in them. They've won stages. They've done what they've had to do. And I expect Shane Van Gisbergen to win that race. But I will say, I think A.J. Allmendinger will be a factor in that thing. With his strong history at the Roval, winning three-plus races in the Xfinity Series, being the defending Cup Series winner of this race, Allmendinger is going to be a threat to win that one. So now we have three spots filled in this round of eight with our winners, Justin Allgaier, Austin Hill, and Shane Van Gisbergen. That means we have five spots remaining. Who are those five spots going to go to? Well, boy, I tell you what. It was a tough internal discussion with myself. I had a couple different brackets. I had a couple different options. And, uh, well, here's what we ended up with. I'm going to go with this next group of guys. I think Cole Custer, the defending champion, he makes it through. Chandler Smith, Sheldon Creed, and A.J. Allmendinger. The reasoning behind it, Cole Custer. He's the defending champion. He won the regular season championship. He's got some playoff points in the bag. 
I think he advances. Chandler Smith, same situation. They've shown a lot of speed this year. They've got playoff points. They've ran extremely well. Uh, they cooled off a little bit over the summer there, but uh, once again, I think they're really fast. Joe Gibbs Racing Equipment, I think Chandler Smith does enough to get through. Then Sheldon Creed. Sheldon Creed is an interesting one because Sheldon Creed has never won in the Xfinity Series. I'm sure everyone's heard it a thousand times. Oh, he finished second again. Ha ha ha. It's such a funny joke. Well, Sheldon Creed has been one of the most consistent drivers in the Xfinity Series. He has top fives in half of his starts in 2024. 13 out of 26 races. It's crazy. It's impressive. And I'm not talking like Oh, he goes to mile and a half and he finishes second. Oh, he goes to short track. Every type of racetrack, Sheldon Creed is finishing second, finishing in the top five, showing up at the end of these races. He's due for one. He's due for a win. And if he keeps performing like he's been performing, I know he doesn't have the points and that's a big, that's a big kind of hesitation in terms of advancing him because if he has a bad race, then, you know, well, he doesn't have the points to lean on. But I think he gets through. He's been so consistent, so good this year. I think he gets through. And then as for AJ Allmendinger, I think Talladega and the Rove will save him. The Rove, he'll be competing for the win. Talladega, he's a great super speedway racer. He's got a shot at the win there too. Uh, so I think Allmendinger just squeaks by. Now for that last spot. I'm going to admit this was tough. This was extremely tough actually. <sighs> So we got uh, one spot. We got Sam Mayer, Riley Herbst, Jesse Love, uh, Sammy Smith, Parker Kligerman. Sammy Smith, Parker Kligerman, great seasons. I applaud you guys. Sorry, you're not advancing. So now it comes down to Sam Mayer, Riley Herbst, and Jesse Love. Sam Mayer uh, has been so inconsistent this year. He's been unpredictable this year. He could go out and win a race. He could go out and wreck early and finish in the 30s. He could go finish 14th. Like, I don't know what to expect with him in these playoffs. And it's been the story of their year. And frankly, I'm not going to put him through. Because of that reason, I have no idea what he's going to do in these playoffs. He could go win the championship. He could finish in the 30s all three of these races. I don't know. Sam Mayer is so unpredictable this year. So with that being said, I'm going to eliminate him. So now it's down to Riley Herbst and Jesse Love. Riley Herbst, it's Stuart Haas Racing's final season in NASCAR before they, well, turn into the Haas factory team. But still, it's big, big change. Stuart Haas is going away. Can Riley Herbst break through, get to the round of eight, get back to the track where he dominated last year, Las Vegas? He won at Indianapolis earlier this year. He's had a pretty solid season. They had a really strong summer stretch. I think in like a span of nine races, they had eight straight top 15s or eight top 15s in nine races, had a win in there, a bunch of top fives. But as of recently, they've been slumping a little bit. Not great finishes, getting caught out in wrecks. They had a top five at Daytona. That's about the bright spot since August. So Herbst is kind of in a slump right now. Jesse Love, though, I know he's a rookie, but he's really talented. And he's shown a lot of speed on the super speedways. He won at Talladega in the spring. He's shown a good amount of speed on the road courses. I'm going to put the rookie through. I think Jesse Love advances to the round of eight in his rookie series, re rookie season as an Xfinity Series driver. I think Jesse Love does just enough to get on by. Now, Riley Herbst is really good at the mile and a half, so he could be really good at Kansas, compete for that win. But I just think Jesse Love squeaks through. Once again, I'm probably going to be wrong. Now for our round of eight, we have Justin Allgaier, Austin Hill, Shane Van Gisbergen, Cole Custer, Chandler Smith, Sheldon Creed, A.J. Allmendinger, and Jesse Love. Vegas, Homestead, and Martinsville are those races. Let's go to race number one at Las Vegas. Joe Gibbs Racing dominated this race in the spring with John Hunter Nemechek and Chandler Smith. And at the end of the day, it was John Hunter Nemechek getting the win. Chandler Smith ran in the top five the entire race, ended up finishing third, I believe. I think he's going to win at Vegas this time. Bye. No John Hunter Nemechek in the field to worry about. Uh, ultimately, I think Chandler Smith gets it done. I think JRM will be strong there once again. I think we could even see some speed from Austin Hill. He's won at this racetrack before. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Chandler Smith to make his first Final Four. I think it's his first Final Four in the Xfinity Series. Correct me if I'm wrong there. 
Then we go to Homestead Miami Speedway, another mile and a half, running up on the wall, and I think this could be, could, you never know. You never know how my predictions are going to go. I think Cole Custer wins at Homestead Miami Speedway, getting Stuart Haas another win and potentially their last win in the Xfinity Series. Big day for him, big day for Stuart Haas getting to the Final Four, trying to defend his 2023 Xfinity Series championship before he goes to the Cup Series next year with the Haas factory team. So that is two spots now filled with Chandler Smith and Cole Custer. Let's go to that third race. I'm a, believe, a big believer in a redemption story. I love a good redemption story. Last year, Sheldon Creed, in position to win this race, had his teammate, Austin Hill, next to him. Surely they can work things out. They did not. They instead annihilated each other and allowed Justin Allgaier to win, and then neither of them made it to the championship four. Good news for Sheldon Creed. Austin Hill's no longer his teammate. Bad news for Sheldon Creed. Austin Hill is still in the field. Well, as I've been hyping this up, or as I've been building this, I'm a believer in redemption. I'm a believer in a big, fun redemption story. He's been getting crap all year long. Oh, he can't win an Xfinity Series race. Oh, ha, ha, ha. He's going to win at the most opportune time. He's going to win at Martinsville and make it to the championship four. Yes, Sheldon Creed going from zero wins to making the championship four. It very well could be shades of Daniel Hemrick back in 2021 when he won zero races all year and then won Phoenix. But as I said in this case, I got Creed winning at Martinsville. So that leaves one spot left. One spot remaining. Justin Allgaier, Austin Hill, Shane Van Gisbergen, AJ Allmendinger, or Jesse Love. Sorry, AJ. Uh, just, you haven't been good enough this year. Shane Van Gisbergen. Sorry, man. You've got basically two new racetracks in here. Martinsville could be a good run for you, but just don't like Vegas and Homestead in there for you. Jesse Love, the rookie campaign was a success. Battle it out for rookie of the year with Shane at Phoenix. And now it comes down to Justin Allgaier and it comes down to Austin Hill. Man, I think the veteranship matters here. Austin Hill's a veteran in the series. He's won a ton of races in this series. Don't get me wrong, but Justin Allgaier. He's been so good this year. He's led so many laps. He's won all these stages. He's won multiple races, and he knows how to get it done in the Xfinity Series, and he knows how to get it done at these racetracks. He's made the Final Four multiple times. Add another to his tally. Justin Allgaier will be in this championship for he is the Denny Hamlin of the Xfinity Series. He has won about everything you can in the series. He's one of the best there is. But he just can't get it done in the championship. But this year, he's going to be in the championship four. So that leaves our Xfinity Series championship four as Chandler Smith, Cole Custer, Sheldon Creed, and Justin Allgaier. Four completely different stories. We got Chandler Smith with JGR trying to get himself an Xfinity Series champion driver who's been on multiple teams back at Joe Gibbs Racing back in the Toyota camp can he get it done in his first year with them Cole Custer trying to defend his championship on top of leave Stuart Haas Racing or leaving Stuart Haas Racing with a championship as they leave the series as they leave NASCAR then we got Sheldon Creed the guy who has finished second so many times finally got his first win can he now turn that in to an Xfinity Series championship? And then Justin Allgaier, as I said, the guy who has been given, kind of like Sheldon Creed, been given a lot of crap because he's won everything there is. He's done everything he could in the Xfinity Series, but he can't quite get that Xfinity Series championship. You guys heard me earlier. I'm a big fan of a good redemption story. Justin Allgaier was leading this race in the spring, dominating. Had a 10-second lead or something crazy like that. Blows a tire with like three laps to go. Loses the race. Is out of the race. That tire, it will stay together this time. Justin Allgaier breaks the curse, breaks the streak, and he becomes an Xfinity Series champion for Dale Jr., Jr. Motorsports, Brant, the corn number seven, will have a championship sticker next to it. It will have pictures with the championship trophy. 
That is my bracket. Get yourself a good look at it. As I said, this is going to be horribly wrong. It's going to be terrible when Justin Allgaier wrecks out at Kansas and then Talladega and the Roval and he gets eliminated. And then Sammy Smith wins the championship instead. But yes, obviously this was my official, I guess, Xfinity Series predictions. Uh, had a good time making this. I haven't done enough Xfinity playoff prediction before, so it was something different, but it was something fun. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this weekend, we got NASCAR all weekend long. We got an elimination race in the truck series tomorrow. We got an Xfinity series playoff opener on Saturday and then Sunday, the round of 12 opener for the cup series should be a fun time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one this weekend, Kansas.